Having lived with asthma most of his life, Matthew Lights has become accustomed to always having medicine nearby. He doesn't go anywhere without his inhaler. I would say about once a month, I have something serious enough to call it an asthma attack. You know, other than that, it's a lot of wheezing and coughing. But inhalers are only part of the prescription for some people with asthma. It's estimated that 7 million of them, or one out of three, have another problem in common. There is a proportion of patients who, for whatever reason, have acid in their esophagus, but they just don't feel it. It doesn't hurt. We don't really understand that, but we know it exists. So how are you feeling today? So doctors had an idea. They wanted to know if treating one condition could help both. To find out, researchers like Dr. John Mastronardi of Ohio State University Medical Center gave people with asthma medicine to control their acid reflux. But after three years, a new study shows those patients aren't any better off. They really had no improvement in their asthma symptoms, and they were basically the same as the folks who just got a placebo or a sugar pill. Mastronardi says the findings are important because it will keep doctors from over-medicating those with asthma and acid reflux. As for patients, it could help lift the burden of paying for treatments that simply don't work. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.